we're going to fish on for a little bit longer. Good evening. We've come back down to the Grand Union for a second night. Uh, things looked quite good the uh, previous night that we were here. I was really surprised when we didn't have a fish. So we've decided, uh, we stopped on in the morning, as you know, which you'll see on the film. Um, but we've decided to give it a second night because we feel we should be getting something at night. And also my brother didn't get a chance to use that marvellous stove of his and cook me any food, so I thought I'd better bring him out for a second night and give him another chance to hone his culinary skills. Right, anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to get my home set up tonight. Brought a bivvy with me, mainly just to keep the insects off because I was a bit of a nuisance the other night. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're all set up. I'm seeing a few fish um, topping over the middle of the canal where I've baited that particular patch up there. I did see one carp earlier down by the edge. It's strange tonight. There's, there's not the insects that were about uh, when we were here last night. It's, it's much different. The canal's very quiet and very clear. Obviously, no boats have been passed for some time. Not that I'm complaining. But, um, it does look reasonably promising, but then again, it always does. <laughs> You've got to be an optimist all the time. If you think you're not going to catch, it's no point being here, is there? You might as well be sitting at home. So we always come out with a very, very positive attitude. Just going to get the kettle on a moment. I don't think it's going to cool off too much tonight. It's ever so muggy and humid at the moment. I'm rather hoping that it won't. I'm rather hoping it will stay like this. It's fantastic not having to put loads of clothes on. What I was doing probably only a month ago now, less than that. I got to uh, constantly wearing a bib and brace, thermal boots. Makes a nice change to be in a t shirt and not be cold. this is not because I'm an alcoholic for anybody <laughs> thinks that I am it's uh, I like thermal cups and I like them with the lid on and this has got quite a wide base so it's very stable whereas the normal travel mugs which are tall if uh, you're not on level ground can have um, a habit of toppling over but the reason why I like to bring them is a because they've got a lid on 
I don't get no bugs in there. I don't get to the bottom of my cup uh, when I'm swilling my tea down and discover a black slug at the bottom that's been enhancing the flavour. And also, because it's thermal, quite often uh, I make myself a drink just before I go to bed in it. And uh, then if I do wake up in the night, uh, as I did uh, last night when I caught the fish, um, I've got something that I can have a, a drink of that's still quite warm and I don't have to go through the trouble of, oh, that was a good fish, boiling the kettle again. That was a good fish that I've just seen then. Well, they're certainly here. It's just a matter of getting one to pick the bait up is the problem. Anyway, I'm going to carry on making my drink for the moment and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later on. Well, it certainly looks good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Looks very promising. You seen anything else? No, there's no... Activity bubble-wise has stopped, but I've seen a few fish rolling. Where's that? Further up? Just down there, yeah. You know, sort of where the mm. far bank was? Yeah. The bushes over there. Fish rolling out from there. Could have been bream. One did look like a cow, though. So. Yeah, that's why I was going to drop in there the other night opposite that. Yeah. Um, for that very reason. Because mm -hmm. I've quite often seen them just there. Troubling. We know they move around, and you see, yes, you have got to try and locate fish, but it's too much of a temptation to think, I'll try over there, and then you see them rolling somewhere else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, yes, uh, with where carp are concerned, it's always worth pursuing them and tra chasing them, because you can have, you know, there's an opportunity to catch a fish. But, uh, the trouble is, when you start seeing activity all over the place, it's temptation to start running around too much isn't it That's yeah well you've got singles on again i've got a single on that i've got double corn on that one yeah at the moment yeah you're changing that over a bit later yes there's some ducks coming up over there now but uh that's not what's something else just caused the ripple over there but i didn't see what it's quietening down now isn't it it's mm. not not half as much activity as there was previously which is good this means the fish are going to the bottom, yeah. Well, I certainly hope so. Well, they are probably in the bubbles. I mean, like I said, they were the mm. bream anyway. So. The swallows are swift. Where? They just came over two of them. Shot no, the I didn't cow. see them. Shot the cat. I thought it were bats at first, mm. but they weren't. They were swallows or swift. Can Strangely they... enough, I haven't seen any bats around here um, this year. I heard one the other night. One flitted. Mm. I could hear it clicking. It yeah, over. But, but yeah, we used to see quite a lot, didn't we? Yeah, there always used to be a few round here. I used to wonder if they were in this old tree before, or well, certainly one of these, or perhaps the next one along. But it's, normally this time of night, there's uh, a couple out, isn't there? But I've only ever um, had two carp in the daylight hours here. It's funny, isn't it? I know the one night when we were here, me and you, uh, we had one about this time of night, didn't we? Or you did, from under there. Yeah. But, um, I've only ever had two in the daylight hours. Everything else always comes in the night. And as I said to you, it's the same with the smaller fish, the bream, the hybrids, the roach. Strange, isn't it? Don't know why it is. You just don't seem to catch them in the daylight hours. Yeah. I used to think it was because the... It's quite a dirty canal, isn't it, in a lot of respects. It's that holds the colour for a long time. It hasn't tonight. It's quite clear actually. It's obviously hasn't been any boat activity for a bit. And I used to think it was because it was so coloured that uh, that's probably part of the reason why the fish didn't come on the feed till the colour dropped out a bit. But um, you would have thought something would have been about. Yeah. You've got to be on the move, you know. Always bewilders me that does, one. 
when the boats are going around the day, you think, where do the fish mm. hold up? Well, you know, because I mean, there's obviously like, quite a lot of fishing in. You think, where are they going? As is the way, I've just popped back to the car a moment and uh, my brother happens to be into a carp. Oh, I think he might have picked the other line up. Never mind, I'll move that in a minute. Obviously quite a good one then, Glenn. Well, it happened, had to happen eventually, didn't it? That on the inside rod. Yep. Under yeah, the under the bush. Well, it's certainly got a good bend in it. Yeah. Can't give it too much welly, but. Uh, right. Line singing in the rings. Nicely. I'll go and get the more net a minute. It's a bit like Jim wanted. Yeah, he brought the big, the big net. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, that's good. Early fish. Yeah. Perhaps that's a good sign of things to come for tonight. Hopefully. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's heading up the canal a little bit now because of the line going. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid okay. it. Oh, I'm trying to get the rod. Didn't you drop the back lead right at the edge on that other rod? Yes, I did. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'm surprised you managed to get into that then. Yeah, no, he's on it. Yeah, hold it down, you'll have to take him the other way. Right, I'll just reposition that camera around in front of you. Yeah, that's better. It's certainly got a nice bend in it. It does, yes. Well, it seems quite a good fish. Yeah, it's fighting well. Couple figures. I should imagine so. Back in that bush again. But I know your camera's shy, so I won't put this bit on YouTube. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> it's nothing more embarrassing, is it, than when you uh, you go down the pub and people keep coming up to you and asking you for, <laughs> asking you if you can get my autograph. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Surely. Yeah, there it is. Well, I don't think I've ever had a mirror from here. I don't think you have, have you either? Yeah. Pretty sure more people can tell Yeah, anyway. It's not that big, actually. No, that's what I thought. Five. Yeah, that's Actually, I don't think it is a common. I think it is a mirror. This is the first mirror that we've had from here. Well, there you go. It's not that bad. Right, leave that there. Well done. Cheers. I'll get the... Uh, oh. Put rod down, I'll get the unhooking mat. Yeah, it's all awesome. I've got the waist sling there and that as well. Oh. 
second. That is the first mirror we have ever had from the stretch. And isn't it a stunning looking one as well? Just want to turn it round, Glenn, and get a look at the other side. It is a beauty, isn't it? It's lovely. Immaculate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's get it weighed. Just get some water. As you've just seen, it's just 20 past 10. Glenn's just had the first fish of the evening. Well, I'll say first fish of the evening. I'm hoping there's going to be more to come, obviously. And uh, it was a mirror. It's a uh, 11 pound 12. So that's quite small really for compared to what we've normally caught down this stretch. Um, the average fish has probably been about 15 pounds uh, upwards. But that is the first mirror we've actually caught from here in, I don't know, probably about five years of fishing the stretch. Uh, they're all commons as a general rule, so it was quite a surprise to actually see that one. Anyway, that's good news as far as we're concerned, and uh, obviously he's chuffed to bits. Let's hope we get a few more. Well, it's just six minutes past three and Glenn's caught another one. I lost a fish at uh, just after one o'clock this morning. And this is Glenn's second. In a minute, I'll come and net it for you. <clears throat> I'm still on there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Hard to tell from here.
Is it about ready? Just hang on, I'll come and get it. Mm, that's very remarkably like the same fish. <laughs> Can't be, surely. Yeah, Glenn's caught the mug fish. Yeah. Can't be the same carp, surely. No, it's not the same. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, that was fast asleep. Yeah, always. It set you the buzzer off as well. It's another mirror. Yeah, I could see it was another mirror. That's incredible. Two mirrors in one night. I never caught them before. Yeah, that's the same fish. It's the mug fish. Oh, I'll see if one that one away. Oh. Well, that's absolutely incredible. That in what five years of fishing down here. We've not had a single mirror, and then suddenly... You get two in one night. Yeah, it's certainly a different fish, it's not the same fish. No. At all. But it wasn't going to stop me from taking the mickey. <sighs> steady boy. Mm. Yeah, a little plump fat thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll just turn it around and have a look at the other side a moment. But it's um, Off you get, uh, on the film footage, Glenn just had a fish just after three o'clock. I lost one at. Uh, just after one this morning. Um, surprisingly though, the second fish he's had is a mirror as well. And as I said, um, in five years of fishing down here, all we've caught is commons. I didn't think there was any mirrors in the stretch. Oh, good morning. It's uh, just coming up to about half past seven now. No more action following the um, two fish that Glenn had last night. I had a few bleeps on my left hand rod indicator just dropping back a bit and bobbing up and down. Clearly just a bream, but um, it left me alone after a little while, <clears throat> thankfully. That was about... Uh, five o'clock half past five this morning um, and it's been quiet since then to be honest there's a few bubbles still coming up so we'll probably hang on for about another hour while we're packing up a bit longer maybe there was uh, a boats already come through that was at quarter past seven but uh, I'm fishing one rod down the inside and one out in the middle so it didn't pick any of those up thank goodness um, and that's really about it for the moment. So, as I said, we're going to carry on for a little while while I get the gear packed away. I've got about three trips back to the car because I've brought Glenn with me. I can't fit the barrow in the car um, when I've got all of his gear in. And uh, so I've got to handball it back to the car. Lovely. But. <laughs> That's the pleasures of coming fishing. Um, Glenn did well anyway. I mean, yeah, they weren't the two biggest carp we've ever had. But uh, 
and they're certainly the smallest from this section. I don't think we've had anything below £15 previously. And uh, But as I said, they mirrors. We've never ever had a mirror. I've been coming down here now, I was working it out last night after I did my piece to camera. I've been coming down here since I was, well originally, my first trip here was when I was 14, but after that seriously fishing was when I was about 30 so a good 26 years I've been coming down to this stretch on and off and uh, in all of that time I've never had a mirror carp but uh, in the past five years when I've seriously carp fished it we've never had one at all it's all been commons and that's all I thought was in the stretch but uh, so it's quite a pleasant surprise, and they were good looking fish as well, as you'll see from the film. Um, yes, it's not the first time when I've brought him, he's dropped into the swim I normally fish, and um, the one I normally keep baited up, and uh, caught fish when I haven't. But, uh, you know, that's the pleasure, the other thing, it's the pleasure of bringing other people out, you know, it's not all about you, is it? and I get most of the time as much pleasure out of watching other people catch as I do myself. But anyway, on that note, uh, I'm going to wish you all very, very good angling and once again, thank you ever so much for watching.